What's up guys? Today, starting this whole YouTube thing, trying to do a build log-ish series here. It'll take probably two years, who knows, but this is, well, everything you see right here is this. Pika 1 Fiske LP51. You're saying, why does that kit fit in this one small box? Well, it's not really a kit. It was a kit, but someone mangled it up or started it and abandoned it and threw out the rest of it because all I got out of this whole box was a pair of flaps, elevator, vertical stab, vertical stab right there, uh, a rudder, and scale accessories, the plans you just saw, and the cool thing was a new canopy. Acquired all of this for two whole dollars. Oh, and a top flight cockpit kit. But I already have a giant scale Mustang right there, top flight. Flies great. I've got a G62 right there. But I always like more giant Mustangs. I mean, who doesn't, right? So. It's not a scale, I know. There's no counterbalances on the elevators or the rudder. It don't look quite right. But, I'm kind of going with more of a vintage look on this project, probably. All Monaco, maybe retracks. Looking like fixed gear at this point, because of how expensive retracks are now. And how Robart is, but that's a different topic. But, it was designed in 1990, and I'm kind of saying I'm going to finish it like it was built in 1990. So, might have a big glow engine on it. Might have an older style gas engine on it. Fixed gear, monocoat, ultra coat, whatever color I choose. So, yeah, this is the start of a long project. I'll even see if I'm able to acquire enough parts to start it even. Because there's so much missing. But, I always am up for a challenge. By the way, wing fillets that are impossible to find. All the plastic stuff, surprisingly, is in really good shape. It's dirty. I have to clean it up. But, like, things that were double stacked, like these gun blisters, the ones underneath, they look brand new. I mean, they are really, really nice. So, I'm glad all those are in good shape, because they're... Everything plastic for this is really hard to find. Original kit stuff. So, I'm happy with that. There's really nothing else in this box. I mean, it's control surfaces and some larger, I think, wingtip blocks. And that's about it. I mean, it ain't much. Main thing is, it's got a new can, which was really nice. Inside with the $2 deal. There's wing hard punch, stuff like that, so I don't know if I'm gonna do like a classic Cleveland racer or a classic Reno racer or traditional scale warbird style. I'm kinda looking at the Clay Lacey Mustang, and that's looking really good to me. But it'll take a long time. I'm getting some parts together. I've got wing ribs and formers on the way, the tracings for that. They should be coming today or tomorrow, hopefully. And I might start tracing and cutting and getting this stuff worked on. Getting this project up and going again. There are some things I'm going to change, as most kit builders do, like I'll show you here on this flap. There's a hole that goes through here, and whoever built this did a poor job of that. But it has a metal rod that goes through there, and... Hinges to a little L bracket at the base attached to the trailing edge of the wing and you know I'm gonna fill this in make it all smooth again and do something else probably a rollbar hinge Like this on the bottom bent like that so it operates this way so Never done that before always up for something new to try so we'll find out Find out as we go along but that's where this is right now. Pika 1 Fisco Mustang. Might see it in a year or two. Probably two. <laughs> probably take two or three years actually to get this all done. So 
we'll see what's gonna happen and make it happen. I'm always up for a new project. So, I'll keep you posted on this, and I'm trying to start doing this whole YouTube thing. You know, just as a fun little side project deal. Something to keep me occupied and always having something to do, so. Might do some uh, event coverage this Saturday. Just walking around with the phone, taking video. But, <laughs> uh, swap meet coming up when... Yep, this Saturday, so look out for a video of that and more videos on this project and flying going on and more building and see I have too much stuff. Those are all my airplanes right now, but too much stuff. So I'll bring you back with some more videos as progress happens. Later.